What is going on Java Minecraft players that want to play Zaleth Launcher 2, but they want to transfer all their files from Zaleth Launcher 1. Today I'm going to show you how to do that very easily, and it's going to just be so smooth and dandy for your candy. But before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe because I'm trying to reach 100 million subscribers before Mr. Beast. I'm just kidding. This channel is probably going to reach maybe 1 million subscribers by 2026. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Now, how we do this, guys, you're going to click on Zayeth Launcher, okay? Now, if you clicked here, which is where your actual uh, packs and your versions and everything are located, which is above launch game, this is the default path that we're going to be basically working in today. Now, if you created folders on your main internal storage, like I told you guys to in my installation video, check out the link in the description below if you never did this, then you can also just select the folder that is on your root directory. Otherwise, if you never set any of this up and you only have default path up here, this is going to be the guide for you. Now, as you can see here, I have multiple different instances and we can get started with this. Now, the first thing to take note of is that you need either MU files, which is something that I actually developed and it's on the Google Play Store. Yes, it's paid you have to pay for it support my development and you can get this app and what this does is it opens up the default file manager app that you can find and basically that's installed on most android devices from like 2010 and beyond i think even further than that but anyways so this is the default file manager that's built inside your device if you don't want to support my development you can download activity launcher activity launcher does the same thing sort of but you have to go and search for the files app which is going to be all the way down here it is right here files and you have to see com.android.documents.sui or it might say android x okay so click on that and then you click on launcher activity and then go to launch activity and it does the same sort of thing that's all i'm going to say okay now i'm going to be using mu files for this because mu files is faster and it goes right into it as you see right it does so now click on the hamburger icon and scroll all the way down to zealoth launcher one now you're going to click on the three dots in the top right hand side and what you're going to do here is click on show hidden files. You need to show this dot minecraft folder. The reason why is because we're going to copy this entire folder into a internal storage folder on our device. So long press on it and click on copy. I'm using a mouse and keyboard by the way so it's easier for me and go to your three lines now go to your internal storage of your device mine is the odin 2 gray click on the three dots click on new folder and then type in the folder name that you want to put in here i'm going to type in z2 stuff okay or whatever you want you can name it whatever you like and click done now what we're going to do is go into that z2 stuff and you're going to paste that folder in here now it's going to take a few seconds so just give it some time to finish copying all the files and all the folders that are inside of that dot minecraft folder take two go now that everything is transferred over here we're going to navigate to zaleth launcher 2. now of course you're going to have to set up zaleth launcher 2 with mobile glues you're going to have to set up all the other renderers and everything like that now this isn't a video about that if you don't know how to do that then i will eventually have a zaleth launcher 2 guide coming out but for now this is for those that already have everything set up properly now where it says no installed versions you're going to click on that you're going to click on add folder on the left hand side and you're going to scroll down to that z2 Two stuff folder and then click on it and then click on dot minecraft now click on select folder now make sure that you see all those other folders in there like the version and everything and then give this a name i'm going to name this z2 main now i am going to click on done click confirm and i'm going to select that folder and as you can see i transferred everything if you don't see anything in here try clicking refresh also if you don't see everything in here you didn't select the right folder which is the dot minecraft folder which is very self-explanatory so again i could do this another time with the same folder if i wanted to i can click on z2 stuff dot minecraft make sure you see all of these folders in here assets libraries mods there might be other folders in here as well select this folder and i can name this z2 stuff just like so yeah i know i have my caps lock on that's why it keeps looking like that now it already conflicts with another folder so there's no point of actually adding this again now if i go into my game i can select this go back I can launch this game and I can continue where I left off with Zaleth Launcher 2. Now again, Zaleth Launcher 2 is still in beta. Uh, the other thing that we can't transfer over yet is the controls. 
And I think that's due to how Zaleth Launcher 2 is handling um, the XML layouts and everything like that in the JSON files. If I know everything correctly here uh, as a developer myself, I'm pretty positive because of the whole new UI and everything. That's why we can't transfer our controls, unfortunately. But we can transfer all of our worlds, okay? That's very important. Now, I don't know what mods I have in this mod pack, actually. Um, <laughs> not sure if uh, this mod pack has stuff that doesn't work or not. I haven't really, I don't remember, honestly. So uh, let's go back. Let's make sure that I'm using the right configurations and everything. Uh, render, yeah, whatever. Login failed. Okay, I'm gonna select just this one. I don't think I have anything. I'm not sure why that one's not working. I haven't played on that one in a while. And is there any mods in here? Um, yeah, Controlify doesn't work, but also Iris Shaders doesn't work without Sodium. So I don't know what I was doing when I was setting all this up, but let's go with 1.2, 1.10 fabric. And there we go, everything is loading. I just wanted to make sure that you know that there's no trickery or anything like that. There's no world saves on this version. I think I was just messing around with stuff just to get things working, but there you go. Copy your .minecraft folder basically into a internal storage. And it's very important for this because honestly, if you have this internal storage now, this means that all of your file saves and everything like that are actually on your root directory of your device now instead of in the data folder. So if you ended up uninstalling Zaleth Launcher, for example, or you you went to like clear your app cache or something like that by mistake, you wouldn't lose your data. Like, yeah, I can go like this, I can go like this. And then if I go to Zaleth Launcher again, I install all the necessary dependencies and libraries and stuff like that. And then I go into here, I go to add folder and I go to Z2 stuff, dot Minecraft, select folder, name it, main, if I know how to spell, there we go. And confirm, now all of my stuff is still here even my world save that I just created and stuff. So that's one important thing about this is that you use scope storage, which is what this is called, so that we can actually access all of our files no matter what, instead of it being in the main Android data directory, which deletes when you uninstall stuff or clear the cache or anything like that. Enjoy, again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and make sure to leave me a nice comment in the comment section below.